Hi guys, just a real quick video to help uh, one of my favorite YouTube creators uh, set up the voltage and current sensing on a Matec F405 AIO all-in-one flight controller. Uh, he may have it worked out by now, but just in case he hasn't, I thought I'd make this video to help him out um, since I enjoy his video so much. So how are you going, Doug? Uh, as you can see, we've got a lizard here, a flying lizard, the chameleon, and that's got a F405 uh, AIO, AIO uh, bought it, the Matec one obviously, uh, with a uh, XT60 attached with some wires and uh, the Armatan um, uh, uh, XT60 saver. Right, so the first thing you have to do is you need to solder your XT60 or your battery leads to the board. That's all you need to do on the board, that's it. They just need to be soldered to the board uh, so that your board's getting power from your, from your battery, that's done. Um, just one other thing I might show you while we're here is what I do with my cap. As you can see, there's this uh, zip tie uh, here around the little uh, extension to the PCB that the XT60 is soldered to. Uh, that is going around my cap. So if we flip that over, we'll see. Um, we shall see my caps there with that uh, that uh, zip tie around it. That stops the uh, the cap from flopping around. Oh, the other thing about that cap is it's got some heat shrink around it, just so that it looks kind of. I don't know, a bit cleaner than uh, just daggy old print. Anyway, so we've got our um, board set up. It's got a, uh, a battery lead or an XT60 uh, soldered to it. The next thing you need to do is you just need to go into VitaFlow, oh, plug it into the USB. Lastly, up into VitaFlight configurator, connect up. You go to the power and battery tab. There, and what you need to do is you need to make sure these two fields here, the voltage meter source and the current meter source, are both set to onboard ADC. If they're set to onboard ADC, they'll use the uh, analog digital converters for current and voltage, which are on the uh, board. Um, the other thing you need to do is you need to set the amperage uh, scale to 165. Uh, that information you get from the uh, connections page on the uh, Maytag website. And then all you need to do is save that. And that's your basic setup. Um, I guess you may also, uh, if you want to be more accurate, you may need to uh, tune your scale and offset for both voltage and meter uh, and, um, uh, and amps. But that is your basic setup. That's all you need to do. Uh, and of course, you need to click the save button. Boom, shanker, and you're done. All set. See ya. Have a good day. Happy flying.